Hi everybody, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions with a, another trick on how to build your courses in Moodle if you have a couple of different sections of the same course in the same term. Now, ideally, you'd like to have all of your materials prepared and set up in your courses for your students before the term even starts. But in reality, we all know that that is not always possible. Sometimes if, uh, for instance, you're teaching a new course or you're redeveloping a course, you're developing some of the materials on the fly. So in this example here, I've got two sections of the same course and uh, I have a few weeks of material prepared for them, but not the entire course. Well, rather than building everything twice in both courses, what I would like to do is to be able to simply build it once in one course and then copy it over to the other one. Well, that's what we're gonna take a look at how to do here today. So this is my first section of this example course. And I now have all of my six weeks worth of content developed. This is an accelerated uh, course for uh, an intercession. So it's only got six weeks. Perhaps you have uh, 12 or 13 weeks or more weeks in your course, the same uh, principles apply for how to do this. So in this course, uh, this section of it, I have all of my weeks now developed and we're starting on week three. In the second section of my course, section two here, I already had weeks one and two ready to go for them. Uh, if you expand this here, you'll see that I have my content for week two for them. But when I go to week three, I have nothing ready in there for them yet. This is my second section of it. And that's what I had ready to go, weeks one and two at the beginning of the term. I've now developed weeks three through six over in this course. For our example, we're gonna take a look at how to copy over just one of those weeks. The same trick applies if you wanna copy over multiple weeks, but we'll just look at one of the weeks here. So what I wanna do is go through the same steps that I would use if I was gonna export the entire course, but I'm gonna break it down a bit and just copy the particular weeks that I have now redeveloped. So I'm gonna go over to my, uh, my settings cog over here, and I'm going to click on the backup option. And it will bring you to this screen here. You're going to uh, leave all the backup settings at their default. And instead of clicking jump to the final step, which you could do if you're gonna copy an entire course, in this case, I will click on next. And it's going to ask me what I want to copy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to deselect uh, any modules I don't want to copy over. So I already have my uh, general course information, my course resources. I already have week one. I already have week two copied over for uh, section two of the course. Week three is now ready to go. And I'm going to turn off weeks four, five, and six in this case, and these extra resources. I don't need them. I'm just going to pretend that it's just week three, 13th to the 19th of May, that's ready to go. That's the only thing that is selected here. So I'm going to click on next. And now, just like copying over an entire course, making a backup of it, I can just keep on clicking next till I get to perform backup. It has made a copy of the course for me. And in my course backup area, this is my file here right now. So I'm gonna download this file. And I'm gonna make sure that I name it something meaningful so I can easily find it. So I'm gonna call this partial backup two because I made a partial backup wand a little bit earlier. I'll copy this to somewhere that is easy for me to find it. In this case, I have my exports folder here ready to go. Now, I'm ready to import this into my second section of the course. So I'm gonna come over to my second section of the course, which I have open in a different tab. Again, I'm gonna to go to the settings cog wheel here. And in this case, I will click on restore. 
it's going to ask me to drag and drop a file that I want to restore. So I will find my partial backup too, which has just that one week. Click on restore. Go through all of the options. Yes, I want to copy this stuff in. So I will continue. Merge the backup course into this course. You want to make sure that that is selected since you are in an active course and you don't want to overwrite any of your old materials. Click on next. And just leave that as no for overwriting the course configuration. Click on next. Perform the restore. Restore has been completed. If I come into my uh, homepage for my course again here now, I will see all of my materials that I previously had for my students are there. Weeks one and two are still here. If I click on week three now, the materials have been copied over for my students. So the only thing that's left for me to do is just to highlight this week for them because we are now into this week. So I'll highlight that. Turn my editing off. My contents are imported into my new course and we're ready to go. When I'm ready for weeks four, five, and six, I can follow the same steps. If you're going to import a couple of weeks at a time, it's the same steps. You just deselect what you don't want to copy in and make sure you select the weekly modules that you do want to copy.